Hey guys, how are you? Just thought I'd um, share this video in regards to the brushes, uh, the different types of brushes that are out there, um, what's best for certain types of coats, what to look for. Uh, I know a lot of people buy brushes from recommendations from people uh, through you know pet stores and things and those recommendations are not always the best um, People are always telling me oh, I brush my dog all the time um, And it's always matted the groomer always has to shave so it might be the brush that you're using It also might be the way that you're brushing. Let me just turn this TV off because Bubs is watching hang on so uh, one, the first one I'll go through is short coats. So short coats like Staffies, um, you know, really, really short, not too thick. Things like this type of brush. So you'll be able to see how it's quite rubbery. This is really good uh, to get rid of all that, that dead hair. And how you want to use this one is you just want to go back and forth on the coat. And you can put a little bit of force into it because it's rubber, it doesn't hurt. You can also get it in a bit of a smaller size. It comes in lots of different shapes and sizes. Doesn't really matter as long as you use it that way. Uh, you can use it in the bath when they're wet or you can use it when they're dry as well. Works really well. You also have a slicker brush, which is like this type one. So you can see the pins. This one is more recommended over something like this. You'll see the pins. I don't know if you can see, there's like little baubles little balls on the tops of the pins there, the little white things. This brush does work. You have to be very careful because the little balls on top of um, the pins there actually pull out coat, so they'll rip out coat. So sometimes if you're brushing with a brush like this, you might find that the, the dog gets uncomfortable or it might squeal or, you know, those sorts of things. And it's probably because sometimes the coat actually gets caught around those balls and it's not really recommended. This one is the best one to go with. Um, there's not those baubles, the hair's not gonna get caught, it's gonna get right in. I know it probably looks scary because it's metal, but it's not. I can put it on my hand here and it really doesn't hurt. Obviously don't push too hard and don't go over the same section constantly, because um, then you will cause skin irritation. But as long as you're just brushing over all different areas, it really doesn't hurt. And it, they've got quite a lot of hair, it will get right in and it should pull out all the nice uh, all the dead hair and leave the coat really nice and fuzzy. Um, then the best one that I recommend, which you can only buy uh, through certain places, you can actually buy this uh, through my private business, which is Porfic Friends Oz. Um, this is a specific grooming tool. Similar to the other slicker brush, this is much better for those really long cavoodles and labradoodles, uh, cocker spaniels, really, really thick coats, um, and people that want to have their dogs that are left really beautiful and long and fluffy. That pin, I'll show you the difference in a minute, won't get right through to the bottom of the coat. So you'll be brushing, it'll be like brushing the top here, but you're not getting into down here. So if you see this one, see how long the pins are? Again, I know it looks scary because it's metal, but you can brush. I can push quite hard and it really doesn't hurt. I'll show you the difference between the two. See how much longer the pins are here? That means it's gonna get right in deep to the roots and all the way out. So if you want a really nice long puppy cut um, or you have a cocker or you know those sorts of dogs with really thick coats or really long coats, obviously you're gonna need longer pins to get right through the coat. Otherwise, as I said, you're just literally gonna be brushing on the top. It's gonna look beautiful, but in underneath here is gonna be all matted. The other thing you might find, uh, the other types of brushes is ones like this that looks like a hairbrush throw them out. They don't do anything. Honestly, dogs have such a thick coat, that's not even going to get the knots out. Don't even worry about those ones. And lastly, I cannot stress enough, unless you have a short coated dog, but any type of long coated dog, from a pom, um, you know, Spitz types coats, to German Shepherds, to like Samoy type coats, like Spitzes, to Cavoodles and Labradoodles and Poodles and, and Chinese Crested, Every and any breed, schnauzers, use a comb. So brush first and then use a comb. The comb is going to make sure that you get right from the, the root of the hair all the way out and you're gonna make sure that you don't have any knots in there at all. Now the reason why you need to brush first before the comb is because if you think 
if I haven't brushed my hair and I go to put this comb through, it's a bit of a struggle and it's not going to get all the way through my hair. You can see there where it stopped. But I'll use the hairbrush like one. If I brush my hair first, you separate the hair, you fluff up the hair, it looks nice and beautiful. Obviously, same with the dog. Then I can go and use the comb and actually comb right through. Now, with my hair, it doesn't look like it's really doing anything, but with your dog's hair, the comb will actually pull out any tiny little knots that there might be near the skin, um, any of the dead hair, you know, those sorts of things. And the dead hair is what actually will knot up uh, the, the coat right near the skin. And that's what will happen when like the groomers have to shave it. So brush first and comb. Slicker brushes can go these. Just be careful that they'll pull out the coat. Can go this one. This one's much better, especially for the long coats. And for those short coats, like the staffies and that that Dee shed, this is amazing. You can also actually use this when you're bathing them. So if you have like hand issues and those sorts of things, you can actually soap up your dog, get this, and you can rub it on the coat and it gets right through to the skin and gets a soap right through. So it gives them a really good um, wash. Uh, and it also has a bit of a massage as well. So. Hope this helps. Uh, if you have any further questions or whatever, feel free to pop it in the comments below um, or you can private message me. You can jump over to my Poor Fic Friends Oz business page if you wanted to purchase combs like this. They're really sturdy. They've I've groomed for about 10 odd years um, and they last the lifetime pretty much of my whole grooming career. They're awesome. Um, or if you want to purchase a slicker brush or just any further questions or anything else that you want me to talk about, feel free, just send me a message or send a comment. Thanks.